Sony TVs are very well known because of its great picture quality. Their build quality is also not bad. Their budget models are not one of the best TVs, but their mid-range and high-end models are one of the best TVs and give really tough competition always. In category of mid-range TVs, my first TV was X8500F which is also known as X85F. That was a pretty good quality TV and I really loved it. And all of my friends who visited my home admired it, especially for its picture quality and its build quality. Actually, I wanted to buy X9000F, which was next model to X8500F and launched in same year as 2018 but it was out of my budget so I end up with X8500F model. X8500G which came in 2019 that was the upgraded model of X8500F and they both have not many differences except from X8500G model has Apple AirPlay, Dolby Vision, EARC and improved picture quality in sense to lower input lag. Apart from that, both TVs have lots of similarities. By now, most of the tech lovers know very well the upcoming lineup of same series that is X90J which will be available most probably in the end of this year 2021 and I will discuss about the changes and upgrades Sony has been doing continuously year by year in these same lineup models X8500F to 9000J. I have told earlier X8500F and 8500G both launched in different years does not have many differences in between them but they have most of similarities so I am going to discuss only about the 8500F, X9000H and the upcoming model of same lineup X9000J. First of all, I will talk about the basic information of these TV models in which I found X8500F, G and X9000H which were launched in different years but have same picture processor that is X1 but the upcoming model of same lineup X9000J will get different and better picture processor that is XR. Usually Sony launch their different lineup of models with different picture processors for example budget and mid-range TVs which only cover LCDs have different picture processor but LEDs, OLEDs also covering their master series have got their better picture processors but this year case is different all of the TV models are getting same picture processors except LCD, LED and OLEDs panels which will make difference in their viewing experience. All of these TV models are 4K Ultra HD with Google application Play Store and Android operating system with the onboard storage of 16 GB and multiple languages. Except from that all of these TV models comes with pretty much same inbox accessories and these are AC power cord, batteries for voice command remote control, one operation instructions, basic setup guide and TV cable top stand. A little feature I want to discuss here is about the TV remote of X8500F model which was more appealing to me and I liked it personally because of its by default buttons like action menu, current running apps you can see and uh, previous and next buttons. Now if I talk about the display or picture processing, there were not many upgrades we saw in the last models, even in the H lineup in the comparison to F and G lineup year by year, but lots of improvements we are going to see this year because of Sony's cognitive processor XR. In the display part, all of the TVs are LCD TVs, but major difference came up with direct full array LED with the local dimming in X9000H and the upcoming model X9000J TVs. In 2018, full array LED feature was available in X9000F, 
but X8500F and X8500G models have edge LED or frame dimming backlight type means the light was coming from its frame. These TVs have no wide angle spec but still X8500F have good enough wide angle as I have tested. HDR capability is limited to HDR10 and HLG. Even X8500G, X9000H and X9000J introduce Dolby Vision only but HDR10 Plus is still not available. Because of Cognitive Processor XR which makes X9000J outstanding model which also brings lots of improved features like dual database processing, XR 4K upscaling, XR super resolution, XR smoothing, XR Triluminous Pro, XR contrast booster, XR HDR remaster, XR motion clarity. If I briefly talk about the display comparison, X8500F have better viewing angles and less reflective screen because of its IPS panel but on the other side X9000H have VA panel including with full array LED made this TV best in contrast levels, local dimming, black uniformity and peaks of brightness. Especially if I talk about motion enhancer which I found in X8500F great with motion flow set to smooth but I struggled a lot to find best picture settings and even motion flow settings on X9000H. So I adjusted the motion flow setting to auto which is not bad but the recent firmware update which have removed blur issue and as well as improved the motion flow as well. Overall I can say X9000H have far better picture quality as compared to X8500F and G lineup and I am sure that upcoming J lineup will do superb. Next part is about audio. X9000H model does not have much better improvements as compared to its predecessors but still with better speaker configuration they do the job really well. Apart from that. TV model X8500F and X9000J have different sound modes which are really helpful for some users. X9000J in this year is going to give a tough competition to X9000H in the audio comparison because it is going to introduce latest technique, acoustic, auto calibration, room and user positioning compensation and 3D surround sound upscaling and there will be a new sound mode available that is Dolby Audio. Connectivity is my final topic in this comparison. There are lots of features which are similar in all of these TV models. Like all of these TVs have Ethernet input and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, built-in Chromecast, HDMI input, USB ports, composite video input and headphone 3.5mm connectivity. X8500F does not have Apple AirPlay and Apple HomeKit but X8500G introduce Apple AirPlay and after that X9000H and X9000J introduce Apple AirPlay and Apple HomeKit as well. And best improvements if we can see last year in X9000H model was HDMI 2.1 which gives this TV a level of next gen gaming TV as well as best mid range TV especially for gamers. In conclusion, I want to say Sony is doing good improvements year by year, but is that all enough for the next gen competition? We saw Sony introduce HDMI 2.1 only in X9000H but not in X9500H, which is a better model and that HDMI 2.1 part really played a big role and diverted the fans of X9500 series toward X9000. But the main part is later on X9000H deals with lots of issues about VRR, ALLM and its blur issues and I am sure that had made lots of Sony customers to move towards another brands like Samsung and LG who are giving tough competitions at this stage. Hopefully Sony will not do such mistakes in their future and I would say best of luck Sony. Please subscribe my channel for more updates and tech reviews like this and thanks for now have a good day.